I watched 100 random YouTube shorts and gave them a rating from 1 to 5 stars to find out if the content rotting our brains is actually any good. And you can trust me, I'm wearing my dad's suit. This first video is clearly just a reused long form converted into a short and features the rapper Alojunde Aloyinka Williams Alotunje making a race joke. Overall, I would say this is a quality short, but not great. 3 out of 5. Next up is a giveaway slash mystery box video. Unfortunately, the dry humor and awkward vibes don't allow for constant rewatching. And trust me, we see this type of video quite a bit. 2 out of 5. The third short that YouTube showed me was the first ad. And although I think the product is cool and the ad is well made for a YouTube short, because the ad didn't make me want to buy the product, I feel obligated as a professional reviewer to give our first one out of five. This next short is of a man guessing the race of his viewers while on Discord. While funny, this was clearly a very easy video to make. So that way I have to knock off a point. Four out of five. This next short actually surprised me quite a bit. I thought this video was gonna be stupid. But I have to say this video had quality editing, a fun premise, and like actual effort. Oh yeah, this video is also very funny. So I'm giving out my first five out of five. Next up is a nice video of a kid meeting Gamora at Disneyland. Due to the contents of this video and the kid in the video, I feel it appropriate not to review this one. We now have our second ad on YouTube Shorts and it is terrible. Academy, get your act together. What the hell is this? Anyway, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. I uh, went to Academy yesterday to buy a jump rope and pickle balls. So even though the ad was terrible, they got my money and that's all you can ask for with an ad. This next video is filmed in Kenya. And that is probably the most interesting part of the video. I just feel like this is one of those videos that you think is gonna be interesting, but she just end up swiping away on. But don't worry, I watched all of it, as I am a YouTube Shorts critique. God, what am I doing? <laughs> Two out of five. The ninth short is our first gym edit. And it's okay, I, I guess. But the cap cut watermark at the end kinda ruins it. Two out of five. If I made this comprehensive review a year ago, videos of people seeing how much of whatever can hold their body weight would probably get a four, maybe even a five. But this trend of videos is getting a little tired and boring. But it is still a fun concept and a lot of effort clearly went into this video. So I'll give it a three out of five. Following up the last video, YouTube presented me with a story time video. And it's about some guy blowing his opportunity with a girl that wanted him because he wanted to go after a girl that didn't want him. And as a critique. I must be able to connect and relate to the art that I'm reviewing. And that's why I must give this video a one out of five. Because no woman has ever wanted me. Our next ad is by Hulu. And once again, I have to give it a five out of five because I have Hulu. Next up is a comedic skit. Clearly, there's a lot of time and effort put into this video. And I can see why someone would think that this is funny, but the humor just doesn't hit for me. Three out of five. Moving on to the next short, a video of a worker at a water park is something I've actually never seen before and was very entertaining. But I feel like this is one of the shorts where I watch the first half of it and then swipe off. That's why I have to get it a 3.5 out of five. We now have another gym edit. And good for this guy going to the gym, but there are a lot of gym edits these days and this does nothing to reinvent the wheel. So I'm sorry, man, keep up the good work. But I gotta give you a two out of five. We are back at it again with the awkward giveaways. And these videos, in my opinion, are just kind of boring. But I will say, this second video is the best one I've seen from this guy. So I'll give him a 2.13 out of 5. YouTube Shorts is back at it again with another ad. And this one's actually a pretty cool animation, you know, nothing too crazy. But I have to give it a 5 out of 5. I own Minecraft. Now we have a man doing a pretty good deed. So he'll obviously get some points for that. But unfortunately, this video is a little boring. 3.5 out of 5. AI picture, AI voice, AI everything. 1 out of 5. Now this video of a guy moving his dead Tesla is actually pretty entertaining and I would give it a 5 out of 5, but just because it started with the Snapchat text, I gotta knock a point. 4 out of 5. And once again we have another ad and this one is not good. It's just gameplay, absolutely no creativity. This ad did not make me want to download Brawl Stars. 1 out of 5. Once again, we're back in the gym, but this time with a skit that is actually very creative and well made. But I feel like this video lacks some energy. Still a good video though, 3.75 out of five. Now, I don't know if this video is skipped or not, but man, this put the biggest smile on my face. It has energy, it's funny, and I genuinely think I could watch this a hundred times. Five out of five. Now, this is the first time I've ever seen a disposable camera video, and it's actually very creative and fun, but I just didn't love it for whatever reason. 
but I'll be fair and give it a 3.75 out of 5. Now we got some girl doing a dance to a Kendrick Lamar song. And yeah, she does a good job. She's a better dancer than I'll ever be. But it's once again just not my thing. But to be fair, I'll give her a 3.75 out of 5. These last couple of videos have been a 3.75 out of 5. But luckily that will end soon because I got the same Brawl Stars ad. And I still don't want to download the app. You want to know what? Zero out of five. The next video that YouTube shoved down my throat was a challenge video. And to be fair, this video has energy, which I like for my YouTube shorts. It also has fun audio edited in. The main guy also has good energy. But once again, there's just something not clicking there for me. Maybe my brain is more rotted than I think it is. But I feel like this short, like many others, just went on for too long. Like this video could have definitely been much shorter. Anyway, this video is a 3.25 out of five. Next, I watched one of those driving game videos. And yeah, these were funny at first, but they just kind of got a little old after a while. And this video made an extremely offensive joke. He joked about texting while driving. That ain't funny. 1.9934 out of five. Here we have our first gym tip video. And I have to say the tips in this video are not good. I'm sorry, but this is not the best way to grow your triceps. And I'm in no way jacked or have the qualifications to tell you what to do. But I watch people that are jacked and have the qualifications to tell you what to do. And they would say they have an exercise that you can't progressively overload. Two exercises that are redundant because they're the same damn movement. And an exercise that Jeff Nippard, the only person in the science-based community that defends this exercise literally said in his most recent video is the worst triceps exercise. Guys, don't listen to everything you hear on the internet. 0 0.5 out of 5. This next video is stupid, kind of mean, and complete brain rot. But it is so damn funny. 5 out of 5. I can shake these hips for all. We once again have an ad for a mobile game. And hey, it's not Brawl Stars. It's even worse. And once again, this ad didn't make me want to buy the game. So, one out of five. This next video is about that one restaurant where all the waitresses are mean. You know, the one that you've seen all the time on the internet but you've never been to. And I gotta say, this video clicked. It's less than 45 seconds long, it's got good energy, and the guy at the end tips the waitress $500. So I gotta give it a five out of five. Now we got a clip from one of those judge shows, and yeah, it's a cute clip of a kid and her mom. But there are two main issues I have. One, it's just a clip taken from somewhere else, and all they did was put a filter and subtitles over it. Two, it's slow and kind of boring. 1.75 out of 5. Oddly enough, the next video is just reused clips again. But this one is much better. It's multiple reused clips, and it's not all just from the same video. It's less than 45 seconds long, and the AI voice isn't annoying. But I still have some issues with it. I'm not the biggest fan about how this video promotes doing four bicep exercises in a single workout. Guys, you only need two. One where you curl like this, and one where you curl like this. And I also don't like how this video promotes doing 6 to 12 sets per exercise. I wonder how Arnold Schwarzenegger recovered from doing 6 to 12 sets per exercise. But I do like how this video promotes training hard and being dedicated. 3 out of 5. Now we're back with the boxer that beat Logan Paul. Ola Junje, Ola Wunka, Williams, Ola Tunji. And it's just a clip from a long form video. And I guess the clip is kind of funny. But as a professional critique, it is my job to point out the flaws in this YouTube short. And the person that posted this video probably just took the long form video and put it in some AI software. And it just crapped out this clip. 2.13 out of 5. YouTube Shorts showed me another ad and it's just kind of mid. There's nothing interesting about it. But I have to give it a 5 out of 5. I have Spotify. Although I never use it. We're now back to another disposable camera video. And it's already starting to lose some of this magic. But don't get me wrong. This is still a fun video. It's just the same thing as I watched earlier. 2.99 out of 5. Once again, we're back in the gym and it's just some guy squatting. And I have some problems with this video. I hate the song choice. 2.67 out of 5. This next short is quick, it has good energy, it's funny, and it's genuinely impressive. But I have my problems with it. One, I hate the Snapchat text. And two, this is just some post re-uploaded by ESPN. Y'all are owned by Disney, why are you just taking videos from Snapchat? Make some original content. And fire Steven A. 3.45 out of 5. And once again, we have more fitness content. But this time, it's one of those pull-up challenges. And congrats to this guy for doing 20 pull-ups. But I've probably seen this type of video a million times. 3.14159 out of 5. YouTube Shorts is back again with another ad. And this time, it's for Taco Bell. 
but this one's kind of weird. I think that the overall ad is just okay, but I don't want to buy the food that they're actually advertising. But I do like Taco Bell. Hell, I just went there yesterday. So for this one, I'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of 5 because this ad failed, but also succeeded. And we're back again with the voice guy from earlier. Unfortunately though, this one's a step down. It goes on for too long and it's not as funny. Trust me, it's still good. But to go from greatness to just okay, you leave this short feeling a little disappointed. 3.75 out of 5. For this next short, it's just some guy playing an Italian song in an Italian restaurant. And it's cool, I guess. But I just feel like there's much better musical content out there. And oh yeah, it goes on for too long. 3 out of 5. Here we have a video with that meme from Ala Junje, Ala Wonka, Williams, Ala Tunji. Yes! 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 is funny but it's also kind of old so i have to knock off a point and there's also a tiktok watermark 2.2 .2 out of 5. why are there so many ksi videos on youtube shorts here we have a video of kai sanat and honestly the video is pretty funny but i've already seen it and it's just a reuse clip three out of five the next ad is actually one of the better ads that I've seen. But it gets a one out of five. I'm not getting the green light credit card. This next video is complete brain rot. And I loved it. High quality, funny, perfect length. I didn't know that shower riz was something that I needed in my life. Five out of five. Fast pace? Yes. A ton of effort? Yes. A good message for parents? Yes. Did it click for me? Unfortunately, no. I feel like this short ran on a tad too long, but it was still a very solid showing from this creator. 4.15 out of 5. Now here we have an interesting dilemma. This short is promoting a good message about mindset, but this clip is just taken from some podcast. And whoever posted just put some filter and subtitles on it. So I have to give it a 1.95 out of 5. And that is only because the message is good. Now we have another video that's pretty funny, but I feel it just goes on too damn long. The whole thing with the card is so funny. But the joke just keeps going on. Y'all can stop. You don't have to finish the marathon and run another mile. 3.65 out of 5. This next ad is probably the best ad from a production standpoint, but it wasn't made for a short. It's horizontal, not vertical. Oh yeah, I also didn't want to buy this product. 1 out of 5. Here we have a wholesome video of a delivery driver playing basketball with some kid. The only downside is that I really doubt this video is posted by the original creator. But since it's not official, I won't knock off too many points. Three out of five. Oh God, we have another disposable camera video. These are getting kind of boring. 1.9 out of five. Okay, now we just got a little kid reviewing Prime. And I would have been a bit nicer on this review. If it wasn't for the fact that the song that was picked is the most random thing of all time. This kid is like nine and the song starts with the artist using a word that I will not repeat. Yeah, I don't think this is the best review of Prime you can find on YouTube Shorts. 1.5 out of 5. Hey, we're back to the guy rising up on Omegle. And it's just as stupid, but just as funny. 5 out of 5. Greenlight is back again with the ads, and I still am not gonna buy their credit card. 0 out of 5. This next short we have is of some guy underestimating a YouTuber in basketball. Now, I'm sure if you play basketball or you're a fan of basketball, then this video is probably your thing. But personally... I don't like basketball. And it totally doesn't have anything to do with the fact that I didn't score a single point in the one season I played. 2.5 out of 5. Moving on to this next show, we have a funny roller coaster clip compilation. And even though this isn't original content, and for some reason it's from an account affiliated with ESPN, I really like these clips, especially with the guy eating the hamburger. But my guy, Omar, ruined it by putting the drop ride guy on here. And he gets like three different clips. Like the amount of times I have seen this guy, and yeah, it was funny at first, and it's still kind of funny, but I've seen this guy a million times. And one of those YouTube lawyers said it was illegal. Two out of five. And once again, we're back at it with gym tips. And you might be ready for me to rip into this guy because he's doing functional training, especially because of how I talked about science-based bodybuilders. But I don't have a problem with this. Depending on what your goals are and genuinely how you like to train, you won't get particularly big doing this, but it's still a great way to train. Four out of five. Now this is a very sweet video of two teachers getting engaged in front of their classrooms. But I've already seen this before. 2.5 out of five. Minecraft is back at it again with another ad. And hey, this one's different. I think Brawl Stars could learn something about that. And yeah, it's a five out of five. I have Minecraft. And I'm gonna go see the Minecraft movie. Up next, we have Ryan Trahan doing two truths and one lie with his candy company. And I have to say, this is a pretty good short. 
It has energy, it's not too long. I like it. 4.25 out of five. Now this next verse has some old guy wanting to slow dance, but he doesn't have a partner. But then he ends up finding a partner. And honestly, I would like it more because it is a sweet video. But I hate that this guy played the sad song from Up. It just makes it feel like the video's forcing you to be sad. 3.12 out of five. Now here's some guy doing a handstand. Yeah, yeah, that, that's it. 1.5 out of five. And now I'm being forced to watch Kai Sinat and I Show Speed rap battle. And I didn't really care for this short. And I'm not really the biggest fan of either of these streamers. Like, I don't have anything wrong with these streamers. They're just not really my thing. Oh yeah, it's also just a reused clip from a stream. So that means there's not much effort put into it. Two out of five. And we're back again with the gym skits. And even though I do have some problems with this short, I do enjoy how relatable this short is. Four out of five. The next short is a car ad. And I don't know what YouTube is thinking giving me this ad. I don't have $40,000. One out of five. Now we have some dudes singing on a ski lift. And yeah, it's pretty funny. 3.25 out of five. For the 69th short, YouTube just showed me a video of a guy being sponsored by Mentos Gum. You know, we really could have had a funny joke there, but YouTube just had to ruin it. 1.5 out of five. What is this? This has got to be the worst YouTube short I've ever seen in my whole life. This creator is terrible and you should not subscribe to him. He sucks. Negative a thousand out of five. And no, I totally didn't add this short in later because I accidentally recorded 99 shorts instead of 100. Now, Jesse James West actually gave us one of the better gym shorts as he challenges a strong woman to a competition. And if it wasn't for this short going on too long, I probably would have given it a 5 out of 5. But instead, it gets a 4.25 out of 5. Now, I'm not going to review this next short because the content of it is of a kid's dad being dead and going to heaven. And I feel kind of be mean-spirited to review this one. But I don't think it's mean-spirited to give Chewie a 1 out of 5 on this ad. Now, I've seen grown men yell at little kids on Among Us VR. But this short actually subverted my expectations. Because instead of yelling at little kids, this grown man helped a little kid with his math homework. And it's a bit of a longer video, but it's sweet. Five out of five. And now we have another gym tips video and it is terrible. Guys, this is not how you grow your abs. You do it under tension. You don't do it moving around like a fish out of water. Zero out of five. Omar's back at it again, but this time with tennis clips. And these are all actually pretty fun to watch. But these are still just re-uploaded clips from somewhere else. Three out of five. Ugh, that awkward giveaway guy's back at it again. Oh my god, is that Dana White? I'm still not the biggest fan of these videos, but I have a newfound respect for this guy. Four out of five. Okay, now I'm in a dilemma. Because we have a double ad. One for Inside Out 2 and one for Paper Mates Pens. Now, I haven't seen Inside Out 2, but I do have Paper Mates Pens. But also, just because I haven't seen Inside Out 2 doesn't mean I'm not going to see it. But I also think it's a really good ad, but it also hasn't successfully gotten my money for the movie. So I don't know what to do. Uh, I guess 2.5 out of 5? It did half the job, I guess. Now we have one of those guys who goes around and mows lawns for free. And these are good shorts, and this guy is doing good deeds. But it's like the drop roller coaster guy. I've seen these so many times that I'm tired of them. 3.15 out of 5. For this next short, I'd like to make it clear. Good for this guy getting into great shape, and he has every right to be proud about it and post about it. But he really had to do the rock quote. You know the one. It goes, one day, or... Okay, you know the quote. We've all heard it, and we've all probably been slightly annoyed by it. 3 out of 5. Oh god, it's a sad short. I mean, it's sad seeing a kid being upset, but I just can't stand these shorts. With the filter and the sad music, and I haven't even mentioned this, a reused clip. I guess two out of five just because Speed is a nice guy. Hey, we're back on the ski lift. Oh, this one's not as good. It's kind of mean and goes on too long. But I guess I have respect for calling a stranger ugly in public. Like, I could never do that. 2.1 out of 5. Wait, this ad actually has a creator in it. Oh my god, it's like the people at Booking.com know what kind of ads to make. But I'm still not going to use Booking.com. One out of five. Now this next short is peak brain rot. All it is is colors and music. Like, what's the point of this? One out of five. Now we got some bodybuilding girl talking about her butt. Did not real nice bubbly pops. 1.75 out of five. This guy here does a comparison of different levels of boxing. And I really enjoyed this. It has a nice quick pace, interesting visuals, and it's overall just a very good video. Five out of five. James Co is back at it again with the awkward humor. This time, trying to make friends. And if this is your kind of humor, I absolutely understand why you would love this. But it's just not for me. Two out of five. Now I'm watching a cottage cheese ad? Uh, one out of five, I'm not buying the cottage cheese. So now we got some guy taking a chicken tendy from a stranger and then getting flamed in the comments. 
So he flies to go give some chicken tendies back to the stranger. And this is way too much effort for a short, but I respect it. 4.25 out of 5. Here's some voiceover basketball video, which I did not like. 1.5 out of 5. For some reason, I watched an edit of Travis Scott's Kid. And maybe if I was a Travis Scott fan, I would love this. But I'm just not a big hip-hop fan in general. 2 out of 5. And here we have a really cool guy dressed up as Michael Jackson doing the moonwalk across the street. But like, why is ESPN posting re-uploaded videos? Like y'all are worth billions! Maybe y'all could afford to make shorts if you weren't giving millions to Stephen A. Smith. 2.15 out of 5. So far in this video, we've seen gym tips, skits, and challenges, but this is our first gym ad. And I don't know anything about this product, but I hate this ad. The reason why is nobody, and I mean nobody, has ever asked ChatGPT for their workout plan. 0.5 out of 5. And on this next short, oh my god, it's the emotional damage guy! 5 out of 5. Okay, but in all seriousness, this video is actually hilarious. Here we have a basketball skit with a guy and a girl, and I just don't really vibe with this one. 1.75 out of 5. And once again, I swear I'm not just salty I didn't score a point in the single basketball season I played. I swear. Okay, we have another gym skit. But I actually really like this one. The roid rage and fake natty storyline is really well done. And it's a topic in the fitness community that will never not be interesting and hilarious. Four out of five. Oh my God, it's the awkward giveaway again. What the hell? Uh, 1.9 out of five. I'm not buying your face cream, Sephora. One out of five. And now we have a prank. And it's not that good of a prank. 1.5 out of five. Oh my God, I'm almost done. For the final short, it's another basketball video. Oh God. But I have to be honest, this video is pretty funny. It's of the greatest white basketball player of all time. And his name is not something I'm going to repeat. But yeah, this was the best basketball video so far. 4.5 out of 5. The end.